students from Karnataka stuck in the UK are struggling to make ends meet as all doors to make a living through part-time jobs have been closed over the last one month. They are questioning the Indian government's stance of not allowing them to return to the country. VSM, president of the Overseas Karnataka Students Association, said many students were facing eviction from landlords due to lack of order declaring rental holiday. This is especially true in cases where landlords depend mainly on rental money from their livelihood. I have been getting messages and calls from several students seeking help, he said, for latest updates and live news on coronavirus, click here I'm a Krishna, a faculty in a reputed engineering college in Karnataka who went on a fellowship to University of Bath, said India's ban on international flight has hit him hard. Too am staying with my wife and child and worried for their safety. The ban on flights came into force a day before my flight was to depart from London, my fellowship has ended and there is no stipend to pay for my rent and groceries, he said. A woman health professional from a leading hospital in Mangaluru, who went on a central government-funded training along with four others, questioned the government's stance on not allowing flights from the United Kingdom. Hostel is nightmare every country is arranging special flights to bring back its citizens. India is telling its citizens not to come back, even when it knows the exploding number of cases in the UK. I am staying in a hostel where maintaining social distance is near impossible. People from outside constantly enter the premises. My husband and two small children in India are worried sick about my situation due to the number of deaths reported here. Why can't our country arrange for our return and keep us in quarantine, she said. More than 120 students have entered details in a Google form opened by the association to get details on those who want to leave the UK. These people are coming forward because they are running out of options. The communities of Canadigas, Tamils and Indians in general are trying to help students. But it won't be enough to save nearly 10,000 Indian students here and a majority of them stay in hostels. Some of the states are asking the centre to arrange evacuation. Karnataka should also exert pressure, Vyash said. Sound Jayamala, a student at Swansea University and daughter of Congress MLC Jayamala, whose flight was turned back from Dubai due to India's sudden lockdown said the High Commission of India has been really helpful, they are trying their best to organize flights for us to reach to safety. But this doesn't happen overnight. We have to be patient, she said. But Akash H, who finished his master's cybersecurity in January from the University of Greenwich, said India was making a mistake by forcing people to stay in UK. I am staying in a rented house and struggling to pay rent. However, those staying in hostels face higher risk of contracting COVID-19, he said. Officials in the chief minister's office said the decision has to be taken by the union government. We are unable to do anything at this juncture, a source said. Let's block ads. Why?